Well, yeah, it's getting tough out there. Yeah, no doubt. I work in home invasions, mostly. Uh, some murder, uh, occasional rape, if she's hot, <laughs> or really bitchy. Uh, and I'm a huge advocate of gun control, absolutely. Uh, competition is stiff, and it, it doesn't help that every time I kick in a door or smash a window, that I face the possibility of being shot and killed. Yes, I've got two guns in my hand. Is it okay to shoot him if he comes in the store? Well, you have to do whatever you can do to protect yourself. I can't tell you that you can do that, but you do what you have to do to protect your baby. Recently widowed, Sarah had to protect not only herself, but also her three-month-old son. With her shotgun loaded, Sarah waited to see if anyone would break in. I waited for 21 minutes while he busted in my house. I was going to have to choose him or my son, and it wasn't going to be my son, so... I did what I had to do. The second he broke down the door, she shot and killed him. His alleged accomplice ran away, but later turned himself in. Police call the shooting justified. You're allowed to shoot an unauthorized person that is in your home. I would do it again. Not because I'd want to, but because of my son. Just two days before that shooting, a teenager from a small town in North Carolina had to take similar deadly action. The 14-year-old boy used a shotgun to defend himself as a man broke into his family's home, as you'll hear in these 911 recordings. This one had a gun now. What kind of gun? A big gun? Small gun? He had a probably a handgun and he came around the corner, pointed it at me. When he did, I fired two shots. And just this week near San Francisco, a 90-year-old retired sheriff's deputy shot a burglar three times in his home. The suspect survived and faces charges of attempted murder and burglary. You have to make a choice, you or him, and I chose my son over him. Things will get better. Sarah says if he or anyone tries to threaten her and the baby, she'll be armed and ready. Listen, the fact is, allowing citizens to own guns creates a hostile work environment for me and my associates. Uh, no one should have to work under, under those conditions. Uh, I say make them all illegal, absolutely. Make all gun ownership illegal. I mean, I break the law for a living. I'm a professional, so <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. I mean, but personally, knowing that most homeowners don't have guns, uh, that would make me a lot more comfortable, uh, more confident, and it would surely increase productivity, no doubt. This is no doubt. Only a threat if you they told me to give it up. They didn't give me a chance. They just shot. John Lee is talking about the three armed robbers who jumped him and shot him here in the parking lot of his Palmetto Bay apartment complex yesterday morning. I would have gave it up, but he gave me no chance. He told me to give it up and shot. And the first bullet hit me in my hand. Like I said, it spun me around. My first instinct was to go for my gun and start shooting, shooting back and defend myself. Lee, a father of four and supervisor at Sam's Club, was able to defend himself because he has a permit to carry a gun. It's rough out there. You never know. So I decided to get my uh, concealed weapon from it a few years ago, hoping I never had to use it. He used it only after the first slug hit him. I reached for it. I started firing shots. I was about to get hit a couple more times. I didn't feel it at the time. I just started firing shots. The guys ran off. Lee was hit four times in the hand, the arm, and twice in the gut. When I looked down. On my shirt, I seen blood just skiing everywhere. I took my shirt off. 
And when I knew I was hit. He's convinced this bloody scene would have been a fatal one had he not fired back, that the robbers who made no attempt to conceal their faces were bent on murder. If I wouldn't have that gun on me, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. That's how I feel. They would have finished you They would have finished me off. Yes, sir. He was determined that wasn't going to happen, wasn't going to leave his children without their dad. This was the scene in East Memphis moments after a diamond dealer shot two would-be robbers. Cops say two other crooks are on the run right now. Two of the would-be robbers are at the Met tonight in critical condition, and tonight the search is on for the other two people responsible. They apparently have been stalking him, tracking him, and trying to find the right time to, to jump him. They, they definitely knew who he was, why he was coming to the building. What they didn't know is the jewelry salesman also had a permit to carry a gun. Police say four men tried to rob him as he left this building. I heard gunshots. As he shot two of the would-be robbers. When the other two jumped in the car and drove away. Here's the kind of story that makes you say, yes. A trio of would-be burglars picked the wrong Albuquerque house to break into. Police say when the three teens pried open the door, a brave little girl was waiting for them, locked and loaded. 11-year-old Alyssa Gutierrez took matters into her own hands yesterday when three burglars broke into her home. I was planning if they came right next to me, I would shoot them. But Gutierrez never got the chance. Police say she spooked Miguel Marquez, Eduardo Zupiate, and Jesus Quintana. My heart kept on pounding and pounding. Anxious family and friends crossed the yellow tape into a surreal crime scene. A 15-year-old boy and his 12-year-old sister had been home alone in the Mount Royal Village subdivision. And at about 2.30, a pair of home invaders tried the front and back doors, then broke a back window. A young boy was protecting his sister. You know, he was in fear for his life and, and for his sister's life. The brother grabbed his father's assault rifle and knew what to do with it. The home invaders fled, leaving a trail of blood. A one would-be robber is shot dead, and three others are on the loose right now. The tire store employee told police he pulled a gun and started shooting when four men tried to rob him. Yes, an armed store owner wins another one. He shoots and kills a robber, and now police are looking for three that got away and their getaway car. This is another case of a business owner who protected his property with his own gun in the second time this week. There's nothing that really I did wrong. I'm sitting here and these people come in with guns. I mean, I'm going the street looking for them. I was hoping after the first shot they'd go, but they did. I fired twice more, then they fired started running. Fired once and waited. And they second, and then I fired more. They fired, I think, three times. I'm sad. I'm sad for those mothers. I ain't got no sons today. I know what that's like. I had a son who was 33 years old, shot himself through the head. I know what that's like. And I've had a lot of other break-ins and robberies and trucks hijacked. My guy going to the bank held up. A lot of things, but the guys coming in with the guns are the worst ones. You never know what they're going to do.